Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Crawling Gaming Pokemon Black Nuzlocke Challenge. If this is what I think it is... Okay, man, for a second I thought that was going to be the Dusk Stone, and that would have been just the cruelest of ironies. Man, last episode, maybe the worst episode of any Nuzlocke we've had in a while. Two big hitters fell, Gorm and Pillows. Oh my gosh, just really, really bad. Um... I have been looking through you guys' comments. I have trying to decide what should we do, who should we, who who could we possibly bring onto the team to fill such gaps. Um, oh, whoops. We're gonna take the uh, charcoal from pillows here. My goodness. First, before we even get going though, let's let's have a quick farewell. My good, we have to. Is it gives us a party Pokemon? Oh. Pillows. I like. I don't. Both the both the losses in the last episode were just so devastating. Like the team is just like. I think they were feeling really confident that we just got in our eighth gym badge. We're about to go to Victory Road, and then like out of like you know it seemed like we had all of our bases covered, and out of nowhere like like the reality of death struck. Like the unexpectedness. What like the Excel Gore having Giga Drain? Who could who could have what what? It was just it came out of nowhere, and then. Like, we, we added Hugs to the team, and we were, which means essentially we had like a five man team because Hugs wasn't really much of a, a, a fighter yet. And, you know, we, ha we, we come against the Girder. Four team members are weak to fighting, and Pillows was supposed to be immune, except for the fact that it was also Fire type and Girder had a Rock type move. You know, you figure, I thought, you know, it wasn't a stab rock type. We burned it. It shouldn't have been as dangerous, but this, we missed the Inferno. Pillow's last laugh. She just, she burned everything in sight, and then that's what happens. We, I, I don't know that we could have, I don't know that we would have won in any other scenario, but I, I'm, I'm sorry, Pillow's. It was, I know you were, you were a prankster, but you were a valuable asset to the team. I know you had a lot of fans out in the out in the audience. You will be greatly missed. <sighs> Goodbye. Okay, so oh, that sucks. That just like we had we oh we were we had such a good team going too, man. Okay, so what I've been thinking is that clearly we have a fighting problem. We cannot we like. Fighting is the problem right now, and there is an Elite Four member that is a fighting type, so I'm thinking, my initial thought was, we also have a problem fighting water types at the moment, so the, there's a couple schools of thought here that I, I sort of went down, like obviously we have uh, Hudson here, who <clears throat> has Will-O-Wisp, which would fill that little bit of that uh, Pillows role, but then is also the Ghost typing, which makes us immune to uh, fighting types, Pure Ghost, don't have to worry about the fire typing. Um, Confrigus, which it evolves into, is a very defensive Pokemon. So, Yam Mask was, is, is high up there um, on my options. And then we had um, Almsy here. This covers uh, pretty defensive as well. Resistant to fighting and resistant to water. Seems like a good option. And then we also had um, Chloe. Uh, so, who would be resistant to water being water, um, and would also be stab against uh, fighting. So, those those were the three I was looking at. But, I actually had a different idea. So, at the moment, what I'm going to do is um, bring on Chloe. Ba boom There we go. But, here's what uh, I think we're going to do... We're gonna go try and catch a new Pokemon. Like those are all great options, but we're gonna go try and catch a new Pokemon. And I think it's appropriate because after such a loss, I think we just need to. Um, we I think it's good that we visit home and maybe just get like a quick visit with mom. You know, just like whoa, where are we? Let's go chat with her. Oh, how are your Pokemon? Well, they're not they're not great, mom. But okay, you you weren't actually as helpful as I thought you'd be. But there is a place where we should be able to... I want to say... I think you can get down to that water down there. I think? Maybe? I was thinking maybe we could. I could be totally wrong. Maybe this is not something you can get until after post-game or something. 
that is Route 17, and there's water Pokemon down there. Um, my my thought is we try and catch a Frillish. Uh, Frillish is a ghost water type Pokemon. That would really solve a lot of problems. If we could figure out where to catch one. Let's see, maybe I was uh, premature in thinking this though. Route 17, Route 18. So how do we get to here? That is the question. Can we get to here? P2 Laboratory. Um, P2 Laboratory, what is that? Let's... I don't even know what that is. Juniper Laboratory. Route 1. Oh boy. Oh, an auto now. That's interesting. I'm gonna knock it out because weirdly high experience. <laughs> Nine. Yeah, great. Hey! Hi. How goes it? <coughs> Hold on, Beth's here. Yay! Three miles! I know! Yay! Longest run since? Yep. Baby! Mwah! Awesome. Well, I uh, finished the vlog and now I'm doing the Nuzlocke. Dad and hard. Dad and hard. And I'm watching Luke, so, you know. There you go. You're doing a good job. He spit up a few times. Oh, Luke. I know. Luke! <laughs> Why oh, well. you spit up so much, buddy? Oh no! Really too much milk. Okay, it would appear... It would appear that I have found a spot where we can... Pokemon hunt. So we have to just go find a place to do it. I don't even know where we're at right now. Max Ether. So I think, like right now, we're still on Route 1, if I'm not mistaken. Right? We're, yeah. We are on Route 1 at the moment. We got Raptors out in front. That feels pretty good. I'm curious as to what that thing is in the water, but it doesn't matter. All right. I have no idea how strong this girl's Pokemon are going to be. They look like they could be strong. Okay, I think we've got it. We've got her... Come on, how's that thing faster than us? It's like 10 levels lower. You're dead. That's what I thought. Raptorus is not taking any chances. Simi Seer. Psh, psh, psh. It's going to brick break this thing into oblivion. Yeah. We got that Moxie boost. Very good. All right, and everyone's feeling better. A Pirism Berry. Oh, the Watchogs. Great, great. Mm -hmm. We're just going to run because I don't want to deal with them. Okay, Route 17. Okay, so we should be able to catch ourselves a Frillish here, I believe. I want to say it's very similar to, like, Tentacool, where if you just surf, you're going to catch it. So I'm going to give it a shot here. We will see if I can't run into something. Oh boy, here we go. This is Route 17. This is our first encounter. And kaboom! A Frillish! What? Oh my gosh, <laughs> she's level 5. Oh, we've got a ways to go. We have got a ways to go with this Frillish. Um, man, I was hoping... I think the highest it could have been was 15. We're just going to huck a netball at it. I don't think there's anything we could hit it with that's not going to immediately kill it. So we're just going to have to get lucky on the catch. Oh, critical catch. Look at that. That was nice. Now, that's a sign. That Frillish was like, okay, cool, I'm in. <laughs> the floating Pokemon. There you go. Water and ghost. Booyah. So that covers kind of both the best, like, what we what we liked about Gorm and uh, Pillows in one. We're going to have to do some serious grinding, but I think that's going to be the case either way um, to get her up to snuff. Either way, we're going to give it a name. <clears throat> Anaria. Welcome, Anaria. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we are going to have Chloe fly us back to Opelucid City here. Bam, and so my original plan had been to bring on both Chloe and Yamas, because that would give us the water and ghost typing back. But now I think what we're actually going to do is uh, deposit Chloe and Hugs and instead bring on 
uh, Anaria and Elmsy. There we go. So now we get a bunch more type. We get good water resistance there. I think I think having the um, the, the grass typing is going to be helpful. Uh, the other option a lot of people thought maybe was to bring on. I wouldn't even be against having two ghost types, but that those the two we just brought on are both really defensive. Um, it's a little uh, on the opposite side of where we were with um, <laughs> pillows and gorm, both being pretty uh, you know offensive in their nature. We could also uh, bluge. <laughs> Blue was the other uh, we could bring on to counter the, the fighting typing there because we just have a uh, a real mm, uh, a stab against it. But this is where we're at right now. And I think I like these options. It's going to take a little bit of grinding to be certain. I need to get the EXP share. So definitely going to give Surf to Anaria here. Oh, <laughs> could just straight up learn it. That was great. Um... Are there any good, obvious grass type moves we could give to Elmsy? Not really, that's surprising. Is there a grass gym in this game? I guess not. Or poison types? Um, oh, let's give Scald to Anaria as well. Ooh, Anaria can learn Sludge Bomb, that might be useful. Okay, it's nice having this uh, <laughs> uh, vast. Oh, Anaria can learn Will-O-Wisp, man. Anaria is going to be a beast. Okay, so there you go. Um, I have no idea what the personality of Anaria and Elmsy is going to be like. Christ this is weird, okay. <laughs> Every single team member except Christian, our leader, is male. I, the, the weird irony that we have a, uh, <laughs> a male Christian as the leader of all these uh, women on the team. Well, I didn't plan that at all. This is just how it has happened. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, Anyway, we're going to do some grinding because we need Anaria and Almsy both to get a lot, a lot stronger. So I'm going to go do that. Enjoy the music. See you soon. Actually leveled up pretty quickly. We got uh, this is a good patch of grass. You can um, find Audinos in here, and they give you tons of experience plus the lucky egg. Oh yes, look at this. <laughs> she looks kind of hilarious. <laughs> Anaria, the Jellicent has joined the team. All right, boom. Let us look a little bit at the stats real quick. Mm -hmm. Water ghost. What a combination. All right, so special defense 91. Where does that put her on the team? Wow, I, why, why is Raptorus? Raptorus has like no downside minus the low speed. Everything else is just jacked up. I mean, special attack is low, but who cares? It doesn't use it. It's like, uh, man. So 91, definitely our best special defender other than Raptorus, who is like just insane. Very good, very good. And then, um, of course, we'll see We'll see how that stacks up against Almsy here if she gets to the point where she evolves as well. Uh, gonna go work on that, though. Enjoy the music! They both evolved right at around 40. I think Algae's at 39 right now. How exciting. Yes, look at this big Amoongus. Giant freaking mushroom thing. <laughs> Looks ridiculous, I have to say. Amoongus, there we go. Let's look at let's look at uh, Almsy's stats real quick. 
Da, 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 da. What? Oh my gosh, I feel so stupid. I have been... I thought I put the lucky egg on Almsy here. Man, we could have been growing so much faster! Oh, whatever. Anyway... Um, special defense. 70. Oh, man. Maybe... Um, hmm. The Amunga stats. Not exactly what I was thinking. Really? Oh. Interesting. Much higher attack than special attack. I did not realize. Okay. Um, hmm. Our two big attacks here are both special, so maybe we should be trying to aim more for physical grass and poison type attacks. That is an oversight. Man, I think I completely misunderstood how Amoongus worked. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we need to get a really slow, really slow. Look at that. Okay, special defense, higher than regular defense. Okay, and then much more of an attacker though. Man, who knew? Who knew? Didn't know it was a physical attacker. Okay, we're going to uh, item take that and item give. All right, and now I'm going to get one more level, and then I think we're going to actually start making our way towards Victory Road. It has been a uh, fun grinding session, though we have had a. Uh, oh boy. This is annoying. Um, I've been doing a lot of Audino hunting, and that has been super effective. There we go. I'm really, really impressed with Anaria here. She is an immediate success on the team. A little bit ditzy, not gonna lie, but effective in battle nonetheless. Uh, Almsy. Well, I have a feeling uh, as an Amoongus is going to be better than she was uh, at, b beforehand. I can't, what What is it called? I can't remember sometimes their names when we give them nicknames like this. Uh, Fungus. Amoongus and Fungus? Yeah, Fungus. So, I think Almsy will be a little bit better off. But we shall see. Let's see if we can't find one more Audino real quick. Maybe that'll finish off the levels. All you kind of have to do is just run around. Oh, there's one. Maybe. Run around until you see the grass, and boom, there it is! Huzzah! And it's almost always auto oh, now. Let's go for that sludge bomb. Yeah, bamf. Okay, well, this is good to know because I've been a little uh, unimpressed with the stats, and I was assuming it was because we were um, just unevolved, but in fact, it looks like it's because I was utilizing the wrong half of the stats. Let's see, look. Watch this. Ooh, so much experience! My goodness. Now we should be able to do it with almost anything else. Let's see. Zeno. We're going to just giga drain this thing. Yeah, you're dead. Bam. Almost there. So maybe I can find one more. Oh, could it be? Sometimes I've been Emolga and sometimes I've been Got the Tells. Oh, there we go, though. This will definitely do it. Yay, sludge bomb. Haha, <laughs> I like the effects board though. That's fun. And then we can just, uh, let's see how the Giga Drain does. <laughs> All to know. What a weird uh, mechanic to put in the game, just a Pokemon that offers you a crap ton of experience. I don't mind it. There we go. All right, so that's all good. Ugh. Now we're gonna try and get out of this insanely high encounter grass. Here we go. Yep, 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 yep. Gothrita. Let's see how much we do on this thing, because we have... Oh. Okay. We have a dark attack. It's pretty solid. Whew! Sashok is a, a weird attack, because it does... Um, I think it... It uses... It, like, attacks... Uh, I don't know, it, it, it's like a special attack that acts as a physical attack, or like hits your defense rather than your special defense. It's something weird like that. Um, let's look at the TMs we have, though, and see if we don't have anything that can work better for Almsy. Um, <laughs> Will Wisp, Flying, Charge Beam, Dark Fling, you know. I'm not thinking that we do, or I can't think of anything offhand that's gonna be, yeah, we don't really. 
that is a bummer. But all right, so let's go ahead and just look at the rest of the team. Anyway, everyone got a, uh, at, like, at least I think a level. Here's Almzy again. Decided to give her the miracle seed because uh, I feel like gig upping the effect of Giga Drain is better than upping the effect of Sludge Bomb because we get more health back. Uh, that's basically all my reasoning there. Uh, Primus crushing it worked well with the new teammates. Um, you know, natural natural defender. Um, he's really been looking out, or she's been just so concerned recently about Christian, who has just been very oh. If anyone took the loss of Gorman Pillow's heart, it was Christian. I mean, he was just feeling so high after we got that eighth gym badge, and now just like you know, everyone's sort of like looking at him as the leader, and he's just like. You know, he's, he was as baffled as I was. I mean, it, no one could have... I don't think you could... We, we were just in a bad situation. And, you know, the best calls, I think, were made. And we we just uh, had a bad roll of the dice, which sucked. Raptorus, my goodness, is just... She's insane. She's on fire. Like, every, every single time she comes into battle, it's just like, kaboom, you're dead. See you later. Let me go back to the Pokeball. It's like, it's so fast, too. It's like, in, attack, boom, done. It's great. It's, uh, man, she is... She is the real, like, the the muscle on the team. She lo looks like she has those scrawny arms, but man, whew, you don't want to mess with her. Sankey, I've been growing just a little slow compared to everyone else. I'm not going to lie. Um, still did some good training there with uh, our, our two new members. Bulldozed a lot of things into the ground. But, um, yeah, it's she, she just, I think she's been feeling a little on the outs. Now we just lost... Gorm, I mean, long-time friends there, you know, um, Sankey's been in a, in a lower spot recently, the morale doesn't seem like it's been as high, which I mean is understandable, but we're going to keep an eye on that as well, um, man, I'm excited though, let's, let's actually start moving on <laughs> towards Victory Road, man, okay, everyone, so we have three, oh boy, I hope we are leveled up enough, that's all I can say, that's all I can say, Whew, it's, uh, we're gonna see. We'll find out, won't we? Let's lead with Christian. The leader shall lead the troops. That makes sense to me, right? Here we go. Back to Route 10, where we freaking lot, man. It's been not a good route at all for us. Did I fight you? Yes, yes. We came through there, we went over there. You wanna fight? Hey, my Pokemon are great, look, look! Well, we'll see about that. Okay, so we have a grass type here, so we could really bring in level 40. This could be a good opportunity to bring, I mean, we could see how Almsy does here, or we could bring in Primus and just sort of uh, make it rain the ice. Let's see if Almsy can take this, we'll just try some sludge bombs. We should be okay. It's also got the normal typing. Horn Leech, what is that? Not very effective. Okay. Sludge Bomb! Oh, Charm. Well, that doesn't really affect this attack, because it's special attack. Bam! Yes, Almsy. Love it. Poison. Maybe it'll kill it. Nope, so close. We were just going to Giga Drain it to whatever damage. Oh, it doesn't really matter. Oh. Sap Zipper. What? What? Oh, yes, sneak. We're getting Sludge Bombed. That's what's happening. That was Sneaky Sauce Buck. Oh, you have your own Jellicent. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Okay, man, what a what a showdown to immediately have. Let's try out, and we have Faint Attack and Giga Drain, both of which should do good here. So let's try the Giga Drain though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not bad. Yep. Okay, I think we are gonna disabled what? Disabled Giga Drain. Oh, that's so weird. Okay, that was fine though. We took that. Almsy doing a good, doing a good first fight. Hmm. This trainer's use of Jellicent is a little different than my own, though. Not gonna lie. Yep. Well done. And because we are uh, all kinds of nervous these days, we are going to be healing like crazy. Because I do not want to get, to, I do not want to keep grinding up new Pokemon. I want the team to just get into a good zone and get ready for the freaking Elite Four. Like, I'm asking so much of Almsy and, um, God, I can't remember the name, Anaria, to just be like, oh, hey, I know I just caught you at level five, like, a uh, couple hours ago, but you, you're ready to fight the strongest Pokemon, right? I mean, she's, she's natural at battling. Almsy, not, not as natural, um, but we'll see. 
We'll see. I have, I have confidence that both of them are going to be great. What do you want? Oh, a veteran Chester. Hey, look at this. Look at this. Uh, you got the old bear tick there. We're going to bring a raptress here for the... Uh, now maybe we can get those big mice... Moxie boosts. Here we go. Ready? It's rare that we get so many uh, Pokemon in a row to knock out. Because things... They'll nom normally bring in something that he's not as strong against. Oh! God, this guy almost had the same lineup we did. <sighs> we're just going to bring in Almsy though. This is so weird. It's like Almsy comes in to fight a Seismitoad, which is the thing that he's like kind of replaced on the team. <sighs> but here we go. This is exactly what happened to us. We lost a Seismitoad to Giga Drain in the last episode, and now we are Giga Draining down a Seismitoad. It feels, it feels a little wrong. <sighs> I mean, Almsy doesn't even know. I can't imagine the rest of the team saw that just happen and is like, I bet it's a little, a little fresh for them, if you will. A scavalier. Oh my gosh, this thing. I don't even, what? I think it's Bug Steel. Ooh. Um, I know we do not want to leave you in. You are going to be a little, yeah. Yeah, you're going to be weak. Um, you're going to, yeah, this is, this is, who could we bring in here? Let's see. And now, uh, let's bring in Christian. Yeah, he's got this. And then we're just going to go for the, uh, let's try the Thunderfang. Mmm, x -Scissor. Yep, oh gosh, ooh, that was so strong. Man, so it's definitely Bug, it's definitely Bug Steel. What a weird combination. We don't have any fire attacks on the team, which makes this a really, a more difficult to take down Pokemon than it should typically be. Um, maybe dig, right? Let's. I'm afraid of that X scissor because it's got really high critical hits. And my God, if we lost Christian, can you even imagine the pain that would ensue on the whole team? Ugh. Okay. Now we're gonna go for the dig. If that thing is flying though and has levitate, I'm gonna be so mad. Oh gosh. Hmm. It's strong, man. These are not things that we could have ever even used on our on like our Nuzlocke journey, though, because you have to like trade two particular Pokemon to get them to evolve in exactly this way. The other one is the Excelgore, though, right? Oh! So close! So close! Oh, Christian. You're making me nervous, buddy. You're making me so nervous. We're just gonna keep hyper potioning. You're good. Hang in there, hang in there. Oh, there's another frickin'. We're going for the Thunderfang. You got this. <sighs> Nerve wracking. Down to 8 HP. Are you kidding me? I don't like that one bit. My goodness, my goodness, I am sorry. Is that, are we finally at Victory Road? That tiny little patch of Route 10? Bad check gates, oh god, these are just the gates. This is like back in Kanto when you have to go and be like, oh yeah, I caught this Pokemon. The trio badge, yay! Oh my gosh, do I have to just sit here and do this over and over? Oh, is this, a, this, I assume this counts as a new area though, right? We're in a, uh, did it change? Let's find out. Or am I still just on Route 10? Ah, that didn't actually change. I think this is still just Route 10, so... I don't think we can catch a Pokemon in here, because we've already... missed... Amoonga? No, we didn't miss. We, uh, we caught our own Amoongus. Man. Can you imagine if we just caught a level 38 instead of having to train one? That would have been nice. What would we do in this situation? I guess we would probably bring on Primus and just ice the crap out of this thing. That's what we would do. As it were, I'm just gonna run. Yep. Oh, that's cool how they're like themed to the badge you just uh, had. The Quake badge, so this should be like all earthy, right? Ooh, yeah, this is neat. I like the way they've done this. The Jet badge. Oh, did, wait, 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 wait. Did I like fly across there? That was awesome. I want to see it again. Wee! 
Wee! Oh, this would be scary. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wee! Okay. <laughs> then you slide across. Oh, of course they make you do a freaking puzzle to get across here. That's fun. Everyone loves puzzles. But what are they gonna do here? Is it just gonna be like dragon skulls? Yeah. Neat. And we have made it to Victory Road. All right, this looks complicated. You know how good I am at these things. Whew, we've got some hyper potions. Let's do this. We can catch a new Pokemon. What's it gonna be? Nope. Oh man, this doesn't actually count as our first encounter here because uh, we've already got a Boldor. So, first encounter. Oh! A Durant. All right. Well, if you say so, this is uh, officially our first Pokemon here. Let's see how strength does. I bet, I want to say this thing is highly defensive. Mm -hmm. That's okay, we're trying to catch it, so bug bite. Steel bug, this is actually just what we, this is exactly like what we just fought. So it's uh, extremely weak to fire, but of course we don't have any fire types on the team. So let's bring in, um, bring in Sankey here. Just for the defense. I was gonna metal claw, jeez. Um, of course we have bulldoze, but we're not trying to kill it. Let's try a smack down here. Woo, and now we're gonna go for the catch. Ultra ball, go. This is like one of the last Pokemon we'll be able to catch, really. Three. Boom. There is some other areas we could go to to catch more stuff. But, um, yes. All right, well, I think we should probably switch to Inaria out front because it looks like everything's gonna be so much weaker to her. And I think we, it's gonna be good to have our uh, nice, nice strong ghost type Pokemon. This thing's gonna be kind of sturdy. Yep, yep. Typical. Typical. So both of the new team members we have have like recovery moves too, specifically, which is, um, Nice, like we added a lot more defense, so like all three of these are now defensive. Raptorus has got pretty high special defense. I mean, Christian I've been leaning on for a special defense for a while too. Um, so we are, uh, that, that is often the key to a good a good Nuzlocke team though, is um, making sure you have lots of tanky Pokemon rather than just Pokemon that can, oh, look what was almost the first encounter. Oh, it would have been pretty crazy had we got DNO. I honestly, I don't think. Gosh, that was so strong. I don't think dragon types are even that useful um, in the Elite Four on this particular go around. But man, it would have been hard not to like want to put. Hydrajon in, or uh, to try it out. You know, always fun when you have a dragon type on the team. Oh, I was mentioning earlier, we there is a, um, like we could still try and catch an Axew. I don't, I, I don't totally know if it's necessary. My goodness, why is everything getting critical hits on us? It's super annoying. Oh no, no, this is okay. Yeah, we're just gonna Isaac trash this thing to the next world. It's dead. Zep Striker. Ah, interestingly, we don't have any more ground types, so we can go to Almsy here. Almsy will resist the electric. Watch the thing have like flame charge or something and just uh, annoy me. That would suck. That was well, everything. Everything is getting the freaking criticals though. Can't tell you how frustrating it is. To stomp. Ooh, we're gonna giga drain it back. You're not gonna stomp us out. Yep. Gosh, wasn't a particularly great. Uh, <laughs> heal though was it i feel like i came in here with so many hyper potions and i've already burned like so many and we barely started well we're gonna get out of this we're gonna giga drain it jeez why must everything be so strong well done almsy you did it you fought well oh no you can slide on the cliffs here watch me now you try it Okay, good for you. I guess that's my cue to try it. Nothing over there. Okay. Durant. Anaria. 
I think an Arya. I think we're going to be really glad we picked her up. She's like the spiritual successor of Gorm and Pillows here. All in one. Oh, yeah, I guess I did not realize Ghost was so... Was uh, resistant to bug. Jeez, that's good to know. <laughs> you'd think you'd think I hadn't played this game for like, uh, you know, I hadn't played Pokemon most of my life. That I'd at least memorized the entire uh, type chart by now, right? If only, if only. Gosh, the encounter rate in this game is through the roof. Look, you can't do like two steps. And we're surfing. Yeah, it'd be great if we ran into Bulldors that didn't have uh, freaking sturdy and we could just knock them out in one shot. That would make my life much easier. Rare candy. Booyah. That's handy. Hey, a Basculin. Well, we don't have one of those. I'm glad that wasn't our encounter for this. Uh... Hey, that was cool. We're just getting free heals here from this Basculin. Which is level 40 frickin' 3. My goodness. So strong. Hey, fight! An ace trainer like me has pride, so I won't lose. Well, we'll see. We'll see. A Stoutland? Oh, well, Stoutlands are very impressive. Uh, we're gonna Will-O-Wisp you. This shouldn't really be... Oh, it could have Crunch. That's exactly what it could have. That would be bad. We're gonna go to Raptorus here. Hopefully this doesn't hit something that seems like a giga... Yeah, exactly what it did was crunch. Who? Ooh, man, I would have fallen for that hard had I not... Did we not already have our own wonderful Christian on the team? Retaliate. Oh, gosh. Yes, look at that. Get that moxie boost. Yep. Okay. And a scolipede. Jeez. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I guess we could bring in Anaria here, right? That would be a good, good switch. We got poison and bug. Man, not having a fire type is a real bummer in this game. It turns out. Yeah, this should work though. This should be good. Going up, man. Steamroller, what the crap? What was that? Not very effective. Everything has been not very effective and also like just critical hitting us all over the place though. Toxic, oh no. It's not good. Not what I needed. It's okay, we should just be able to, this shouldn't hurt us that bad. And then the surf will take it out and then boom, dead. Ha. Yes, yes, okay. Every single time we get into a fight, I keep thinking, like, yeah, okay, we're gonna be, we're great. But then, uh, like, I just remember last episode, I feel like my confidence is shook. It's shook! And I am getting nervous, because I do not want to lose another team member before we make it to the Elite Four. We're probably gonna have to do some more grinding in the next episode. Just, oh gosh, what's even over here? What is the point? Volibee, mm hmm can't tell. Don't want to be able to... Ooh! Heatmore! That would have been an interesting Pokemon to catch. That could have been a team member. Right? Maybe? I've never used a Heatmore. I think it's just pure fire? It looks weird. Like the natural enemy of uh, Durant there. Anteater and Ant. Mindfu! We have a Mindfu. I don't, I don't know at all the correct uh, route on this victory road. We're totally just guessing as we go. As per usual. I think I've only played through like black and white like once. So, ooh, uh, yeah. This guy looks like he's gonna have fighting types. And we are going to be immune to them. Scrafty. Court, no, see. The problem is now we can have like dark type attacks, which would be. This is why Scrafty's so good. Ugh. Oh boy. Makes me nervous to stay in because if he crunches us, that would be bad. But this is like why. I guess we should bring in Almsy, right? This is the this is the situation we're looking for. Yeah, that's exactly what would happen. Crunch, man. We have a we are not look we are not great against crunch. Note to self. Um, let's go for the Giga Drain. See how that does. Oh gosh. 
At least we got the poison off. But geez, we are. Now look at that, we're down to four freaking hyper potions. Not good. Why is everything so... <laughs> like, how many of those have been critical hit in this cave? It has been outrageous. That's like at least the tenth time in this cave alone. Um, Man, did he... I think I'm going to try and synthesis here. No! No! Almsy! Ah! Oh my gosh, I'm so mad. Ah! Raptorus, do your thing. Just destroy that thing. Just get it out of my sight. Frickin! Frackin! Frickin! Frackin! Frack! 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 Destroy it! Moxie boost these things! God, just, oh, I'm getting so angry here. Conkeldor, yeah, 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 Conkeldor, are you ready for this? You ready to get Brick Brook in the face? Oh, oh my gosh, we almost just... <sighs> Had he hit us with that, it would have killed us. That would have been awful. We are four times weak to fight. No, we're not four times weak. I'm sorry. I don't, why do I think fighting is weak to fighting? It is not. It would have hurt. Gosh. Look at that. Even with two Moxie boosts, Raptorus couldn't knock out that Conkeldor. With the brick break. Man, I almost went for the high jump kick too. Like, you know, why risk it? Well, now we know. If we have another one, we're just going to straight up destroy it. Freaking, fracking, freaking frack though, Almsy. <sighs> so much effort to get you up to level 40. And now we are again. I'm not like weak to water. We have an answer there. What we're really weak against is, in a way, dark. That's what we're not... That's what we're sort of in the weakness zone for. Scrafty, if we come up against one, that's such a problem for us because it's strong against literally everything. Fighting or man, okay. That's what we have to look out for. That is what we have to look out for as we continue to make our way through. It makes me nervous. Like, should we even continue? I bet there's more. I bet there are more. Ugh. And like, mm. we're going to keep moving. Not sure what happened to my face cam footage, but it's just not there. But to finish my thought, no, we are not going to continue because I feel positive there are more Scrafties along the way. And I feel like we just need to be prepared for them. We have to figure out something to counter. Well, I mean, like. Dark is okay, but specifically Scrafties, there's not, like, I don't know how we're gonna get, I think maybe Duncan, I don't know, leave your thoughts and your condolences for uh, Almsy in the towel section, and let me know who you think we should bring on, and I will uh, see you next time. Boom, dead. Ha.